Hi, okay, so I'm taking over the duty of Kobe's vlog. So what I'm going to show you today is I'm going, I've just woken up, so I'm going to make a homemade healthy soup. Um, I have heard about the GM diet, which I may try in the next couple of weeks and vlog that for the week and see how it goes and let you know what happens to my body and if I lose any weight. But at the moment, I'm going to use up some of my vegetables. So I've got, here I've got some celerac, eggplant, tomatoes, capsicum, a bit of fennel, uh, onion, onion, a bit of kale, the stems from the fennel, celery, and yeah, that's about it. That's all I'm going to do for my homemade healthy soup and stick it in this big pot and live on that for a little bit. Okay, back again. So oh, I just took the head off my celery and it's pretty tough. You just chop all that wood stuff off. Ah, where are we there? And um, away you go. And this is what I put all the hard stuff in first. Oil, garlic, and I fry that all up really nicely. And then I put all the softer things in later to the soup. And I will add my secret, beautiful, my favourite, organic vegetable broth. Oh, it's the best. Okay, so another little trick I do is there's my, all the veggies, and I'm sautéing them at the moment. And I put a little bit of this over the vegetables because the oil and this, being dry will stick to the vegetables and make it taste a whole lot better than putting it in at the last moment with the water because then it's just like vegetable broth and water whereas this is actually sticking to the vegetables so when you're eating the vegetables you're getting a lot of that nice taste too. Okay, I do boil my water so not to shock my vegetables with cold water since they're already hot. Like, how would you like it if you were nice and hot and then you hopped in one of those ice baths? Not very pleasant. So, I just put a little bit of that hot water in there. Keep stirring around. And eventually I'll pour more water in there and then add the softer tomatoes. Oh, I also put a little bit of basil in there. I'll put my cucumber, uh, capsicum, sorry, capsicum in there. And I do have more kale. I will get that out later. Okay, so now I've put in all the soft vegetables really quickly, really easily. Added a little bit more water. And I'm going to add, I've got heaps of spices there. It's whatever tickles your fancy. You can have, and then there's all my others over there. You can see, it's a bit hard. Um, I, my favourite is, uh, my favourite, chilies. Here. So these are chilies from my chili tree out the front. Um, and I freeze them. That's, so that's from last summer and like they're in the freezer so you just grab one run it under hot water just like brand new fresh hot beautiful so I won't put this in the soup because when Kobe comes home and another reason why I use all my vegetables is that I'm alone five days of the week so I get lots of veggies for me and Kobe to have so when she goes a lot of the vegetables yeah kind of start going off so then I put them in a soup um, and then Kobe eats the soup too. So, but with these, um, I will just chop it in half and then put it in. Where's my? Oh, I don't have it. Oh, any container with the soup. You pour the soup into, you know, a bowl. And away you go. And that's when I put that in. So I'll be back. Okay, and now later, I put this in Digestive Health. It's gelatin. It's fantastic for your gut. And yeah. That's what I put in my soup. Very good for you. And then that's when I also add more of the vegetable broth to not taste, make it taste so much like water. But it's organic and it's gorgeous. So there you have my soup. And I will see you guys later. Bye. I forgot to let you know also another little secret is um, sometimes I like my soup not so thick but a lot of watery liquid soupy 
So I've already got some in my flask there. Oh, God. Yeah, this flask. So what I usually also add is this for some more flavor. Healthy, clean, yummy. So that's another little tip to add flavor to your soup.